What is up guys? I'm just sitting here in the office. I'm taking care of a few odds and ends and I figured I'd want to show you guys some of the stuff I've got going on and some of the stuff that you can expect to see in the next couple coming weeks. You probably heard my 3D printer running in the background there. And what I've got it going for is I'm making a little insert to go into these taillights. It's actually gonna be a little bit of a series where I talk about making custom taillights. Right now it's just a little test fit before I start adding more details in SolidWorks because I want to make sure I get all the dimensions right. Stay tuned for that. I'm not sure how many weeks that's going to be, but do keep an eye out. Actually, I got a lot of stuff coming up that I kind of want to show you I'm going to do. And so like down here, we've got some of the parts for the moped, uh, like some new clutches and in this new drive sprocket. And so that should really change. Oh, there it goes. And so these should really change how the thing drives because what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill out some weight on the clutches and that'll change when they engage. So stay tuned for that. I might do like a long moped special. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And in even bigger news, I'm going to be making a manual controller for the Odyssey's automatic transmission. So it'll kind of be like a slap shifter. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be buying an ECU. It's going to be the AEM Series 2. The only issue with it is it won't control the automatic transmission. Basically what Honda did was they combined the transmission controller and the engine controller. So the TCU and ECU became one. Unfortunately, the Series 2 from AEM does not do anything to control an automatic transmission. And I unfortunately have the PCM. So what I gotta do is I'm gonna make this little manual controller so I can basically control the transmission somehow. I think actually it's gonna be pretty fun to do a manual uh, Odyssey. It's not really a manual, but y you know, manually changing the gears should be pretty fun. So yeah, we've got the taillight stuff that's in the works. We've got moped stuff coming up eventually, and we've got the transmission controller. I actually ordered parts for that, and they should actually get here the weekend that I'm filming this. That should actually be a project I can get started on pretty soon. Let's see, tomorrow morning I'm going to go ahead and polish up the van real quick. And that, that'll be a nice fun little thing. It's nothing that I'm going to do a whole video on, but you know, I'll toss a little bit of b-roll of me doing that into here. So the print finished, I've actually got it right here. And so there's a little bit of stuff that I need to address on here as far as like print performance goes. We'll, we'll kind of fix that as we go along, but you can kind of see here, it's peeling up a little bit and it was warping, but the overall print quality is fine, aside from those little few issues. So that's fantastic. You know, I'll be recording a little bit more of that to show you guys when I actually make the episode. Alright, so like I said, we're going to actually work on buffing and waxing the van and all that good stuff. First thing I got to do though is I got to pick up real quick because I like to have a kind of clean workspace or at least something that is very focused on what I'm doing. And since I'm not like unbolting stuff from the car, I really don't want that stuff just laying on the floor there. Gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started on detailing the van. Let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I'm gonna do is just clay bar it. I'm gonna try and do the whole thing, or at least this side. I've already done the passenger side over there and it looks fantastic. So this side should go pretty easily and I'm really looking forward to how it turns out because it should be really awesome. It's gonna restore a lot of the shine and depth to the paint. So let's get to it. So we got all the clay barring done on this side. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm doing with my hand here. This side of the van. Next up, we're just gonna go ahead and do like the actual buffing and it's gonna make this side look fantastic. Thank you. 
Uh, next up, I'm gonna be just waxing, like waxing the most because it's kind of the easiest. It's also just very therapeutic because I, I wax by hand. I won't buff by hand, I hate buffing by hand, but waxing I'll do by hand and it's therapeutic. I, I really enjoy it. And so just like that, I was able to wax this side of the van, and it looks absolutely stunning. Like, I don't even know if the photos are going to do it justice here, because I know some colors lost and, you know, stuff, stuff relating to the kind of gear I have. However, I'm completely amazed by this. It's just wow. Like even, like, look at this. Hi. You can see me really nicely. It's incredibly reflective now. This little bit here is where I kind of stopped on the rearmost pillar. And then we can go down. Whoa, look at that. Hello. Go down, or up. Then we go back down. Wow. It's honestly impressive. I'd love to stay in chat a little bit longer. But unfortunately, my memory card's almost full. I've got some homework to do, and I've got to edit this. With that said, until next time, see you next week. Stay classy. Stay classy.